Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. In the waters of baptism, Anibal died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. We use the symbols of our baptism, the water, the white garment, to, to recognize that, that Anibal received as inheritance the promise of God's mercy and the promise of eternal life. So we come here today to, to, to proclaim that faith as well as to call out to the Lord and, and even remind him of his promise for our brother Anibal. As we come together, let us pray.
O God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, give, we pray, to your servant, Anibal, for whom we perform the fraternal offices of burial, a share of your chosen ones with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, he may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in, in the, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I invite you to be seated and open your hearts to hear from God's word. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but handed him over for all of us. Will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen one? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, they give me comfort, courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Now there was a virtuous and righteous man named Joseph, who though he was a member of the council, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. After he had taken the body down, he wrapped it in a linen cloth and laid him in a rock-hewn tomb in which no one had yet been buried. But at daybreak, on the first day of the week, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were puzzling over this, behold, two men in dazzling garments appeared to them. They were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. They said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. First of all, on behalf of the parish, I want to offer all of you um, condolences and the promise of prayers at times like this, and especially in these times where we have unexpected funerals like this from this pandemic. very personal as you know and and so we offer you uh, our support we continue to pray for all of you and and um, in this celebration we seek to return to the, the roots the ground of our faith to find the source of our hope um, you were telling me uh, Tony that uh, somebody has a uh, bit of a testimony Yeah, I'm gonna have you. Let me, I'll just tell you what. I'll, I'm gonna come back here and give you this microphone. And actually, you know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. I'm gonna hold it in front of you. That way I can use it for other people as well. We'll make I, it real short. No, you're fine. I'm good. I got a strong arm. I can oh, yes. I'd like to say we're all here for Aniva. But Aniva wasn't only my friend, I was his compai. And was a pleasure, Adrian. I used to could carry you as a baby, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> but Aniba was a giving person, not only a gifted piano player, but one thing that we should know about Aniba: if anyone needed their car worked on and it was below zero outside, he'd be there to help you. One of his gifts, he was always a giving person. And some of the best Latin festivals were held at Oakwood Park in the 70s and it was Anibo who would go and sign the permits get the bands make sure the stage was there it was his commitment nothing ever went wrong but if it did Anibo would be the one responsible so I um, was honored to know my friend and my compai Anibo and it, we should remember he was a very unselfish and good person thank you thank you very much I would like to ask anyone else who wants to um, remember Anibal, what, how he was. I'm going to put my mask on since I'm walking among you. 
And, um, and I would give you the chance to, to briefly just mention maybe it's a memory or a characteristic, something that uh, you, you carry with you from Aniba. Does anyone have anything? Yes. Um, I just want to say that my dad, as, as a father and grandfather, was very proud of his kids and his grandkids. No matter what, he was proud of his brothers and sisters as well. I remember times when, you know, like when I started playing trumpet, he got one of his uh, trumpet players from Orquiz de Maquis to give me lessons. And then later on, um, he, was pr he was so proud of me. When I'm at Theater, he was telling everybody at Ford. He was telling, um, he, he even, um, even more recently, he uh, was proud of my hobby as a YouTuber and working at Cedar Point. But uh, he always talked about my brothers, my sisters, and my, and my uh, nephews and my nieces. He was always so proud of them. And that's one thing I want to remember him by. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you. Um, he was always like the life of the party. He, like anytime we'd have a get together, you could count on him just to make it so much fun. Um, he, he was always telling jokes, and um, you could just count on him to make it just a, a, a better time than it, than it already was. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I hope I can do this. My sister-in-law, Sue, just reminded me, because you were sitting there, and Lori and I were the same uh, train of thought. Uh, yesterday, we told about our oldest brother for the first time what, what had happened. And uh, it, was, it was difficult. He had a difficult time with it. But once we, you know, we played some of these videos of, of uh, what Sue's talking about, we had New Year's parties at Mom's every year. And we'd be watching football games sitting around talking, but Niva shows up, TV goes off, the Honda starts, everything is lit up, and there's people dancing in front of the refrigerators and the stoves and everywhere. So it, it, Sue's right, that, as soon as he walked in the room, things changed, you know? And if there's somebody that wasn't there, couldn't sing, my oldest brother would go to the Puerto Rican home and pick up somebody that could sing and bring them back. And <laughs> <laughs> they had connections, let me tell you, those guys sitting back there, they've been together for a long time. So yeah, it, he he would light up a room one way or another. If you were you weren't ready to party, you you had to be. So thank you. One thing I'd like to say is I thank God for Aníbal because he gave me four strong, loving, and courageous nephews. We're so proud of you guys of what you've done, what you have become. You have beautiful families. So thank him for those men and their wives and their children that are sitting right there. And we mourn with you. And we will continue praying for you for strength and comfort. We smile as we remember Aníbal. There are all sorts of memories, more difficult memories perhaps, as well as the ones that cause us to chuckle. Um, but we bring his life in our memories and we bring his remains here in this place where we present ourselves to God. Every time we gather, when we come here, it's about an offering an offering, a two-way offering. The Lord who first offered himself for us on the cross, completely out of love, without 
without having to, us having to measure up, he simply gave himself, he offered himself in love. And then we come here always when we come for Mass to offer ourselves back. This altar becomes the symbol of his offering, his laying down his life for us, his giving himself to us. But it's the symbol of where, how we come to lay our lives down as well. And so, so we bring his remains and we bring his memory here so that we can place him before the Lord. And in a, in a biblical sense, as, as Moses would remind God of his promises to his people, so we, we come before the Lord and we remind him of the goodness of his son, Anibal. Not that, that he was perfect, but the Lord has never demanded that we be perfect. He loves us first. John tells us this in his first letter. It's not that we've loved God. We, we tend to be rather inconsistent in that. But it is that God has first loved us. And so we bring him before the Lord and we say, Lord, remember your son. Remember your mercy. Remember the love with which you offered yourself. The first reading you chose from Romans says, if, if God is for us, who can be against us? He didn't spare his own son. How, who will condemn us? The Lord offers himself for us. And then in the gospel reading, we hear of, of just the truth of death trying to be victorious and failing. Death that would seek to be the last word, that would seek to suck the hope out of all of us. And it fails. Because though Jesus died and he was dead, he rose. And he rose not just for himself, but so that all of us might follow him. And, and so we, we, we stand here and we, we take all of this that is the memory of Anibal and, and we say, Lord, look upon the goodness of this life, the goodness of his heart. Look upon his imperfection and remember why you gave yourself on the cross for us. And lead him home. We come here to defy a message that many in the world believe that, that there is nothing beyond death. That our, the meaning of our life is simply what we can attain here, experience here. We come here to proclaim that this is just the beginning. And our faith would remind us that, that the goodness of, of Anibal will be amplified and celebrated in heaven, and any sin that has clung to him will be set, will be loosed and washed from him because we trust in God's mercy. So we come also to intercede for him, that he might be set free, and, and to commend him to the Lord. May this faith be the source of your consolation as we remember that, that, that one day the Lord will gather us all. One day he will come again and he will raise up the dead and in glorified bodies like the body of the Lord Jesus, we will be raised and just like Mary, the mother of Jesus and, and Jesus, we will be in, in the presence of God. Let us pray for Anibar that he might begin to know the glory of the kingdom. I invite you to stand. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ his Son from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all of his people, living and deceased. We pray for Anivan, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our brother Anibal, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the family and friends of our brother Anival, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all of us, assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed sisters and brothers. Cleanse them of their sins. Grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Anibal, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to him, or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. 
And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant on Elog, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed sisters and brothers too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes for seeing you as you are. Our God, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter into my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be a word at communion time. This is the moment of the most solemn expression of our faith in the real presence of the body and blood of Christ in this sacrament. We're usually from various faith traditions, and so if you don't share that faith with us, I ask that at communion time as we pass by, simply cross your arms on your chest and we'll pray for spiritual communion. If you are receiving today, I'd ask that you, as we approach, remove your mask, then receive, and then replace your mask.
Jesus at the table of God in la mesa de Dios so many hopes and fears are placed in your hands oh God blending our stories with your compassion Oh, oh. 
promesa de Dios Let us pray. <coughs> pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Anibal, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May 
our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Anibal in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life, for they are signs to us of your goodness, of your faithfulness, and of our sharing in communion with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain comfort one another with assurances of faith as we all meet until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you and with, and with your spirit. spirit may Almighty God bless you the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. mass is ended let us go forth in peace thanks, and thanks be to God, God. your slumber arise from your sleep a new day is dawning for all those who wait the people in darkness have seen a great light the Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. Turned into dancing for the Lord.
my people make gentle your words proclaim to my city the day of her birth let us build a city of God may our tears be turned into dancing for the Lord our light and our love has turned night into 